Let's look at the cingulum prep for this tooth number eight. So let's just look at it first because the tooth itself doesn't even have a very good cingulum. So it's already pretty flat and we do want to get at least a one millimeter wall right here. So I want to emphasize that the burn needs to be held really straight up and down. So not even like this, almost kind of going even against that angle, but just trying to force to create a wall here because the tooth itself is, is like a slope, but now they, wanna, they want you to have a wall here. So as we're prepping, I'm gonna keep my bird really straight up and down. I'm going to start with my three depth cuts and remembering to keep the burr at a very straight angle like this. So I'm just gonna make three depth cuts staying 0.5 millimeters above the gingival or even a little bit more than that. So just doing my depth cuts. So let me show you what this depth cuts look like. If you look at them, they're actually shallow at the top and deeper at the bottom. They're almost like a teardrop shaped because um, I'm trying to get that wall. Now I'm just gonna join them and again, keeping my instrument extremely straight, almost, almost like really forcing it to be almost the other way just so I can create a wall down here, which is what they want. Okay, let me show you what I've done. So here, I've almost forced created this wall. So if you see right here, um, I basically, I'm just making it up because that's what they want, but I've almost forced a, the creation of this wall here. It didn't really follow the anatomy of the tooth per se, but I forced my burr right there to create it. So now I have this. Now I gotta make the reduction of the rest of the cingulum. This is the tricky part. You don't wanna lose this angle here to here. So as you're using your burr, you just wanna be in this deepest part of it. So let me show you how to do that. I'm just gonna pop this in real quick to show you what has happened so far. So we've basically just removed this bottom part but I, the shape of it is different than what the tooth was before. So there's a wall and then it connects. So now I'm gonna work on this part just to show you how to shape the cingulum part without losing this wall that we just made. So the important thing to keep in mind here is don't touch this corner if you don't need to, just a little bit. I'm really just focusing on the depth of this lingual part and not going against this corner right there because I want to keep that shape of going deep into the cingulum and then dropping down and having that lingual wall. So I'm just going to work on this deeper part first. So I've almost made like a hole in the tooth. If you follow the steps correctly, um, this part should have been done by now. So you would just be joining it and then just avoiding this last little drop here. So I've made almost like a hole now because I don't have this top part uh, prepped. But as you can see, I'm, I'm forcing this shape of the cingulum. So it's dropping in, then it's 
flat a little bit and then it drops down. So I'm almost like forcing it to have a cingulum when the tooth itself is extremely flat like this. It's like a ski slope. Going to continue with my cingulum shaping here. So if you just see how much distance I have from my putty right here, I just created enough distance and then I have to drop down into this one millimeter wall. Um, I could probably reduce a little bit more, but this is just a quick rough cingulum video. But it's um, the tooth itself is very flat um, in the cingulum area. So as you're prepping, you almost have to force the creation of this shape. I hope this is helpful, but it, the most important part is get the wall first, make a wall, and then just scoop out the middle and try not to touch this corner part so much because that's what gives it that cingulum shape. So it's going from a scooped out shape to a drop. So you just wanna avoid the shape of the tooth itself, which is pretty flat. I hope this is helpful. It's a little bit tricky, but try a couple and I think you'll be 